Okay, so we, here we have the Nautilus CCFX2 with the drag that needs gazillion revolutions of the drag knob before you get any real drag, which is good. The drag is good, but uh, the Infini adjustment is, is just terrible in my mind. So let's see what we can do about it. Okay, first we are going to open the drag. So loosen the three screws on the housing. Loosen them properly so they will open enough for the inner end of the screws to miss the shoulder that the reel has here. It comes off very easily. You don't need to use any force or push it with the drag. Then you have the spring, which is actually the, this is the problem. This is very soft. And then we have some, either these are shim plates only, or, or um, maybe just giving the sliding contact or, more um, lubrication or something but those those we don't need the pressure plate the aluminium one or stainless one we will need so these I am not using for my upgrade for my upgrade I am using uh, 28 millimeter outer diameter inner diameter 14.2 millimeters Belleville or washers or cup springs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm using one with thickness of 1.5, one with thickness of 1.0 millimeters, and they are so that the cups are in the same direction. And on the other side, facing the with the concave side to the other ones concave side with two one millimeter thicknesses so they make so this can uh, struck the the uh, new spring and if I put this directly into the reel they fit quite nicely here so I can put the pressure plate back over them. I have the drag set to minimum and then I'm putting the drag housing on. I'm pushing the drag housing against the reel frame to see if if there is any any tension on on the drag and actually here I don't have any so I know that they are not contacting at the moment. So I need to shim a bit. Uh, I'm using household stuff. These are uh, strong aluminium foil that I've stacked and cut and they lie nicely into the drag housing of, of the frame side. I, I put the washers on, the Belleville washers, and oops, 
forgot the pressure plate. And then retest. Okay, there is some tension now. So this is pretty much perfect because then your drag starts to climb from the get-go. But then I also install a piece of uh, foam into the center, which is a bit thicker than the Belleville washer stack. So even if the drag uh, wears, I still have some pressure coming out from the from the foam. So it never comes to full overspool. You just have to try how much or how thick um, foam you need to put there. But that, that's basically replacement for this. For overhaul, what, what you want to check is if you have any dirt or, or uh, corrosion you want to clean. The drag at, uh, itself, uh, this is built on aluminium part. Uh, if there is corrosion you want to clean that up. And if there is something on the on the drag surfaces, which are on the both sides, both sides are working when the drag is engaged. So you want to check those. And similarly, you want to check the mating surface on the drag housing that there is nothing in there. So just clean that. Regarding the one-way bearing. You may use alcohol, for example, to clean this and then do not put any grease. If you want to lubricate it, which is good to have some lubrication in it, use gun oil or something very uh, low viscosity oil that doesn't freeze up uh, when it gets cold if you are using the reel in, in the cold. Uh, temperatures for example. So you want a low viscosity oil that stays that way in all temperatures you are using the reel with. You may want to check if you have any corrosion here or or, or anything like that. And regarding the shaft you need to Take the retainer clip off and then pull out uh, the shaft. Check it and if there is anything you can apply some uh, oil or grease. And there is a PTFE part here uh, which you may want to clean and also this mating surface here. This part you can actually clean with alcohol if you want to. Just put some lubrication on the on the shaft. Just very very light coat of oil. Oil is enough. You don't want to smudge Okay, let's see how easy I, it is to put this clip on. This might be a bit of a task since I don't have proper tools here. No, nope, it went. Okay, then I'm just gonna reassemble the reel. Uh, you may want to put there is an O-ring here, so you may want to put some grease on it. Maybe maybe you take it out away off uh, with a needle. Don't puncture it. Just uh, ease it off with the needle and lift it out, and then clean it. Put some grease on it and put it back. 
Then, after the up and drag upgrade, it's just same thing again. So assembling. So I'm now tightening the screws. I'm not tightening them too too hard while going through the frame because otherwise I may scratch the frame or I may not get to the bottom of the hex slot in the screw and I may manage to round it up round it if I'm I'm not careful and I'm trying to tighten it too much without the key being sitting in the slot perfectly and now now they, they are not too tight so I'm gonna do some some tightening by by applying pressure on the drag housing also pushing it towards the frame so that I get that back to the same position as I was trying the drag washer shimming so I'm pushing the red part downwards against the frame and then I'm doing slight tightening of the three retaining screws don't try to tighten it much because they are in this aluminium part and and aluminium is not very good in that sense that it's very easy to pop the threads but that's it then they are not probably sitting completely aligned the the drag washers so or the, the spring washers so what I'm gonna do is well it's pretty nice now and yeah now we have some good drag even with less than a revolution one and a half revolutions and it's quite tight and about two revolutions and I don't dare to go beyond that much because otherwise I may harm the, the shaft actually all right that's it